Well, you imagine that you are the owner of an office building and that the tenants in the building, they are complaining about the speed of the elevator. It's too slow. What many people do there is to take the problem for granted. Okay, the elevator is slow. And then they swing into solution mode and say, how do we make it faster? Do we put in a better motor or you know, do we just... Do we have to go out and buy a new elevator for that matter? What a clever landlord might suggest is instead that you put up a mirror next to the elevator. Because of course, what happens is when people see a mirror, they look at themselves and they fall in love and they forget time. And the underlying idea there is, what problem are you solving? That a mirror is not necessarily a solution to a slow elevator. A, a mirror is a solution to the problem that people think it's annoying to wait. Mm. So that's, that, that, it's a simple example. And it really encapsulates that difference between jumping into solution mode, going in and trying to analyze the problem, which is asking, why is the elevator slow? And then the crucial difference between analyzing it and framing it right, which is the question, wait, is this really about the speed of the elevator? Or is there something else going on? Is there perhaps a better problem to solve?